I'm Michael Williams and I'm a professional boxer. I've been boxing for four years now. Boxing gives you great mental strength. It makes you physically very fit, having to train for so many rounds and so many minutes. Boxing means everything to me at the minute. I've just recently turned professional and had my second bout. Had two fights and two wins, so I'm just really like enjoying what I'm doing and I can't really see myself doing anything else but boxing at the minute. I don't think my mum and dad really understand the sport of boxing and uh, it has been pretty tough to sort of turn them around. They do support me, but it's more trying to get them to understand that like this is what I want to do and this is where I'm going. As far as I knew I was the first person in my family to uh, start boxing. None of my sisters or brothers like uh, have ever been down to a boxing gym before and done any like form of boxing. I first realised that there was another member of the family who was a professional boxer when I was at my uh, grandma's funeral. She died in 2012. We were around my grandma's house and uh, a few of my family had come over from Wales. They were talking to me about how I'm getting on with my boxing and stuff. They sort of told me about this guy called Griff Williams and they told me he was uh, my great uncle. I was just sort of pestering them with questions like what was he like, what did he do? They were telling me the, how he was a Welsh champion in the 1930s. I, just, I was just shocked. I just kept on asking questions and questions. I went on Google and I googled his name and where he was from. I seen um, his record on the internet as well and what he had done, but I never really found out any more information from that. But I've hit sort of a brick wall in my research of Griff. I found out little bits and pieces about him on the internet, but it's, it's hard to to sort of find some of the records that go back to the uh, 1930s. I've been put in contact with a boxing historian and uh, he's agreed to give me more information on Griff Williams and uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see what he's going to say. Uh, in, what, in what proved to be undoubtedly the best fight of the night, Douglas Kestrel of Cardiff uh, was given the decision over Griff Williams uh, of Kaima. Uh, these two put up a smashing fight. Kestrel painted Williams' face a vivid scarlet by exploiting a fast and damaging straight left. But nothing short of an earthquake could unsettle Williams, who throughout fought a fiercely aggressive battle, often breaking through Kestrel's guard to deal out punishment in his turn. And although oh, the wow, general consensus brilliant. of opinion appeared to be that Williams Absolutely. Although the general consensus of opinion appeared to be that Williams had done just enough to win, uh, the, the, the verdict went the other way. And the reporter in Boxing News recommended to the management of the hall that they could do a lot worse than to arrange a return match, as there were a, a good many presents who would welcome the opportunity of seeing those two splendid box fighters in action again. Did you say you were a professional boxer? Yeah, I'm a professional boxer, yeah. You're... Right, okay. Well, it might come as a surprise to you then to find out that uh, Griff turned professional when he was about 14 years old. Wow, really? Oh, yeah. That, that is really, that, that is so young. Is it... I think it is in the blood. I, think, uh, I don't think it's coincidence how I just sort of came into boxing and managed to do what I have done and turn professional, I think there, I think there is something in the blood, yeah. I mean, he fought 122 times, and according to my record, he won 62 of them and lost 50 and drew 10. Now, in oh, those that's days, brilliant. that's a seriously good record. I think I'll always share the story of Great Uncle Griff. I think because it's inspired me so much, I'd like to share it with the rest of the family and hopefully inspire them as well. I hope to be remembered as, as a champion by my great-grandchildren. And in the programme notes it stated that Williams has fought most of the leading boxers in this division and anyone who can get the better of this Welsh featherweight may hold his head high. Yeah. So you can see how well regarded he was. I've got that fight report I've just described to you. I've got a couple of programmes with his name in. I've got the, the licence form that I was describing to you. I've got his detailed fight record. And um, I have made arrangements for these to be uh, to come your way because uh, I'm oh, sure really? you'd be delighted to see them. And, and absolutely, you'd be able to see just how good he was. Oh, and, that's uh, brilliant! You know, and Thank Anderson, you. you can be very, very proud. It does inspire me uh, to see what Griff Williams has done, and uh, especially who he's boxed as well. He's um, 
I mean, he's done, he's done really well in his boxing career. He boxed British champions, Commonwealth champions, and he's boxed so many Welsh area champions as well. So that really does inspire me to go away and do well in my own professional boxing career now.